Welcome to a chilling tale from the Appalachian Trail, where the serene beauty masks mysterious and darker undertones. Today, we unravel a story that challenges the tranquility of these woods. Imagine a canopy of trees, the sound of distant waterfalls, the crisp mountain air. It sounds idyllic, right? But as we dig deeper, we discover that this natural paradise has been a stage for a nerve-wracking encounter. Folk tales and old warnings often tell us of strange occurrences in remote areas. What you are about to hear is not just a spooky campfire story, it's a real-life event that turned a typical hiking adventure into a frightful ordeal. Meet Ricky Williams, a seasoned camper known for his undying love for the Appalachian Trail. This particular trip, however, was not just any trip. It was a test of survival. Ricky had been on the trail for weeks, his backpack growing lighter as his supplies dwindled. Food was scarce, and every rustle in the undergrowth was a hopeful sign of potential help. He often mused about the stories he'd share upon encountering fellow hikers. Tales of close calls with nature, the beauty he'd captured in his sketches, and perhaps subtly, a plea for a share of their provisions. The turning point came at Dismal Creek, a name that promised nothing gentle. Here, Ricky met Scott Johnston, a fellow trail enthusiast whose presence brought an unexpected relief to Ricky's growing isolation. Scott, armed with a welcoming smile, extended his hospitality over shared meals and stories. He offered fishing tips that promised a bounty in these otherwise grim conditions. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the flickering campfire light softened the harsh wilderness. Their laughter echoed around the creek, building a bridge of camaraderie between two solitary souls. As the evening unfolded at Scott's campsite, an air of unease began to weave through the trees. The arrival of Sean, a robust and somewhat brooding friend of Scott's, changed the dynamics of the gathering. Unfamiliar glances and subtle shifts in conversation grew as Ricky perceived a change in the atmosphere. The playful banter gave way to tense silences, filled only by the cracking of the campfire. The trio's interactions became a cautious dance, with each man wary, yet bound by an unspoken code of wilderness etiquette. The air was thick with suspense as Ricky's true identity, none other than the infamous Randall Lee Smith, came to light. What started as an evening of tales and tentative friendships spiraled into chaos. Ricky, overtaken by a sinister motive, launched an unexpected assault on Sean and Scott. The tranquility of the wilderness was shattered by screams and the desperate scuffle that ensued. Amidst the disarray, the instinct for survival kicked in. Scott and Sean fought valiantly, their will to survive as fierce as the night was dark. Their struggle, a staggering blend of fear and adrenaline, painted a grim tableau under the moonlit sky. Welcome back, friends. Today, we find ourselves delving into the unsettling aftermath following a chilling event on the Appalachian Trail. After the authorities were alerted to a distressing incident involving Ricky Williams, or should I say, Randall Lee Smith, the investigation quickly unfolded. Law enforcement discovered a second, more disturbing campsite. Hidden among the dense foliage, this site contained eerie clues that suggested prolonged planning and sinister intentions. Forensic teams meticulously gathered evidence, which hinted at a dark past intertwined with the tranquil beauty of the trail. It was a stark reminder of the duality of nature, both serene and savage. As the pieces of the puzzle were put together, a macabre tale emerged. Discussions with other hikers and locals painted a picture of a man who had blended into the background, his malevolent purposes unnoticed until it was almost too late. The conclusion of the police investigation not only linked Ricky to this frightening night at Dismal Creek, but also reopened unresolved mysteries of previous encounters along the trail. The chilling realization that danger could lurk around any bend was a heavy burden for the hiking community. In this final segment, let us reflect on the impact of that harrowing night on the survivors and all who tread the winding paths of the Appalachian Trail. This incident sheds light on the complex nature of human behavior amidst the backdrop of one of America's most iconic landscapes, remote, rugged, and unpredictably perilous. The survivors' stories, filled with resilience and a renewed vigilance, serve as sobering reminders of the fragility of life and the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The unsettling history of the trail, marked by sporadic reports of violence, impels us to consider the deeper implications of solitude and the unknown dangers that may accompany such profound isolation. 
As we close, let us ponder the eerie solitude that accompanies the beauty of the great outdoors. It's a delicate balance between embracing the wild and acknowledging the shadows that may fall within it. May this story inspire both caution and a deeper appreciation for the mysteries of the natural world.